Hi guys, Diane here, your resource for all things systems and operations so that you can level up your business and live by your own rules. Today, I want to spend some time talking to you about how to have a great experience with a service provider, specifically how to have a great experience on a VIP day or an intensive, because this is a model that I'm seeing becoming more and more prevalent. I see a lot more service providers offering this and as someone who has both purchased a number of VIP days and who is also facilitates and delivers in a VIP day format, you know, I really want to talk about what it takes to really have a great experience in this model, because there's a lot that a business owner can do, but there's also a lot that you as the person coming into the VIP VIP day can do to ensure that you have a really great experience. All right. So I've seen it over and over again. Maybe um, you've left a VIP day or an intensive and, you know, you kind of feel like, okay, that was fine, but I didn't necessarily get what I really wanted, or I didn't really get exactly what I needed out of the VIP day. I've definitely been here, right? Like I've definitely gone into a VIP day and felt like, oh, okay, that was fine, but I'm not sure that I really got what I needed from that service. Or sometimes I feel like, okay, that was fine. Um, but now I have more questions and we didn't really resolve what I really, I came here to resolve. Right. And more and more service providers are really offering VIP days and intensive as a way to get results really fast in your business. And honestly, it's sexy, right? Who doesn't want results faster? Who doesn't want to get to the answer, to get to the root cause, to build something, fix something, develop something within their business faster, right? Like that is a really, really enticing offer. And I've definitely been there and I've seen both sides of the coin from my own purchases um, in the VIP days that I've invested in and also in the VIP days that I've delivered to clients, right? So I've seen both sides of the experience and yes, sometimes there is a lack of leadership um, on the service provider sides. But a lot of times there's also um, a need for preparation and there's a little bit of a shift that needs to happen in your mindset, in the way that you approach the VIP day because it is something of a newer model and it's not as prevalent, right? So a shift in the way that you're approaching the VIP day to really ensure that you're gonna have a great uh, you're going to have a great experience and you're going to have a great outcome with that VIP day and with that particular service provider, right? Because who wants to invest in a VIP day? Who wants to invest in anything and not get exactly what they need and exactly what you want? So I'm going to outline a few of the things and the mistakes that I see business owners making when they go into a VIP day that really hold them back from having a really great experience and really getting the full results of the VIP day, all right? So one of the biggest mistakes that I see business owners do is they don't do the pre-work, right? I know I've been in this place before where I kind of rushed through the pre-work or I knew that the VIP day was a little bit way, a ways off. So I kind of like, all right, high level, here's some basic thoughts, here's, you know, well, I kind of maybe like put half of the effort into the actual pre-work, but the pre-work is really, really important because you have to remember that on a VIP day that you are going to be spending a limited amount of time together. This isn't something where you're engaging a long-term contractor where, you know, if we don't get it right the first time, if we don't get it right this session, we'll get it at the next session or the session after that or in the foreseeable future because you're someone that's just gonna be working on my team on an ongoing basis, right? You have to remember that a VIP day is really focused. You have a short amount of time, you have a short window with that service provider. So you need to make sure that you actually put the effort into the VIP day. And I know that this can feel a little overwhelming, especially if there is a big application, but definitely carve out the time to be thoughtful about the um, any onboarding forms or questionnaires or pre-work that needs to be done prior to your VIP day. This will only ensure that you have a better experience. This will also bring up a lot of questions, a lot of the things that you might want to resolve, but you don't think about the, until you're actually deep into the session. You know, being thoughtful about that pre-work um, will allow those questions to come up and have you in a better place, a more prepared place to discuss them during your VIP day. Instead of like, okay, I didn't really do the pre-work and then I showed up and then as my wheels started turning, I realized like, 
oh, there was this whole other section that I forgot to mention to you, or there's all this extra insight into my business model or the area that we're going to be working on that I just didn't even think about. Um, and now I have something or I've built something that is only half of what I really need or doesn't really encompass my full business um, because, hey, I didn't, I didn't tell them, right? So um, be really thoughtful and focused about the pre-work that you're doing so that you can go into the VIP day with your clear intentions, with more thought around what it is that you want to accomplish and a whole lot of more clarity around the, the areas that you want to focus on when you're going into the intensive, all right? And then another piece that I see a lot of business owners mistaking or not really having a clear understanding of what the outcomes are for the VIP day and what the exact deliverables are, right? It's really easy to get caught up in the idea like, oh my God, you're gonna solve all my problems immediately. Like you're gonna give me all the answers in the next four hours. Um, you're gonna fix my entire business in this VIP day or in this intensive, it's really easy to get caught up in some of that marketing or that excitement, knowing that it's going to be like a really short focus thing. And at the end, you're going to have these amazing outcomes. However, you have to really understand, like, what is the focus, right? Remember that you're with the service provider for a short period of time. You guys are there for, for a really focused amount of time. So really understand, like, what are the outcomes and what are the deliverables so that you're not misaligning what you want and what you expect out of the VIP day. Like a lot of times when I have um, gone into VIP days myself where I'm like, oh, I'm not sure that that's what I really needed. Or, you know, we focus on areas that I am not really like, I don't know that that's where I really should have spent my time. It's because I didn't really understand what the outcomes were supposed to be for the VIP day or what the deliverables were. So we spent a lot of time focusing on things that I didn't really want or need. Um, and in all honesty, I should have really tuned in and focus on like, hey, these are the things that are going to be delivered and this is the approach and this is what I want. Like these are the outcomes that would be beneficial for me at the end of this VIP day or at the end of this intensive. Without being clear on that, you know, it's really easy to kind of, mm, I don't know if this is what I really need. I'm not sure if we are focusing in on what I really want. I'm not sure that I got the resolution to the problem that I really wanted answered or the question I really wanted answered, right? So really understand what are they trying to deliver? What is the outcome of this VIP day supposed to be? And how does it align to what I'm looking for um, as I'm preparing? to go into this VIP day, right? So those are things that really should be prepared on your side to ensure that you have a great experience with your service provider, right? And the third mis big misconception um, that I see with a lot of people going into VIP days is you underestimate what the full timeline is. Yes, there is a VIP day. Yes, there is a session that is scheduled. It is booked, but there's also a little bit of time for delivery, right? So, you know, a lot of times there will be a little, a short window of time after the VIP day where anything that's being built or being created for you um, is going to be in production or will be delivered to you after the VIP session or very shortly thereafter, right? So don't expect that you're like, oh, wait, I just did a two hour, three hour, five hour session with you and you didn't build all the things while we were on the call. What What's going on here, right? So I found that when I level spent my expectations, like, oh yeah, give you a little bit of, if I give the service provider a little bit of maneuvering room so they can actually finish up, polish, um, do the final preparation on the delivery, then we're both in a much better place. And I'm much happier, I was much happier with the outcome and the quality of the materials. So, you know, really understand what the timeline is. So, you know, the VIP day is gonna happen and then where, when is my delivery actually gonna happen? A lot of times you will get it, you know, right after your session. A lot of times you'll get it maybe a couple of days afterwards when they're doing wrap up or if there's final builds or whatever needs to happen to really wrap up the VIP day and make sure that you get what you need, um, but level set your expectations around how quickly is this actually going to get done? And like, you know, at the end of the day, can I promise that I'll be able to push through, you know, a hundred people through this funnel, like immediately after the session ends, right? So that's something that you need to level set with yourself to ensure that you have a great experience and that you get the most out of your intensive that you've invested in. And then finally, the biggest thing that I uh, want to see that I see with a lot of business owners who are 
you know, coming off of VIPD and not having a great experience is because they didn't understand what the outcome really was, right? And they didn't really understand what the scope of the work really was. Remember, you are together for a limited amount of time. You can't expect that the same work that you would do over the course of like a three, four, five, six month program is gonna get done in the same period of time, right? You can't expect that the same amount of work, the same, you're gonna cover the same scope, that you're gonna get all of the things built in that period of time as your VIP day, right? So really focus in on what is the scope of the project? What is, what are we going to cover? What are we actually going to build? And don't get offended if, you know, there isn't a lot of small talk or, you know, there isn't, you know, a lot of downtime because that time that you guys are spending together is really valuable. And it was set for a reason, right? You have the sessions for a reason. It's not like, oh, okay, well, let's just, chit chat for the next 40 minutes and hopefully you know we get through everything that we need to get through um you know usually when you're going into an intensive the purpose is that you're spending a really short concentrated amount of time together think of it like super concentrated laundry detergent or you know a really strong shot of alcohol right it's not diluted it's really concentrated it's really focused so don't expect any filler right um i mean it's not to say that you know there's not going to be any but like you know speak kind of mindful if you know you're trying to if your service provider is trying to move you to the next topic or keep to the agenda or you know is really kind of putting guardrails around what the scope is like don't think of that as the service provider being a bad service provider or not giving you what you need but remember that the intensive was designed for you guys to really hone in and focus on one particular area of your business for a limited amount of time um so that you can go into the session really un being clear and understanding what is going to happen, how it's going to work, and how you're going to get the best results, right? You get the best results when you're really clear on the deliverables and you're actually really clear on like the outline um, and you're open to really being focused and intentional during that time, right? So these are my top tips for how to have a great experience with the service provider, especially if they are giving you a VIP day. I get that this is not going to be a blanket, that this isn't going to be something that you know, applies to everyone. There is some amazing, amazing, I've had amazing, amazing VIP days. Um, and I think that I put on a pretty dang amazing VIP day as well. But there is also work on your side that needs to happen. And I've definitely been in a place where I didn't do the work and I didn't level set my expectations um, before I went into a VIP day. And it really kind of set me up for a bad VIP day. Um, and it really didn't kind of give put me in a place where I really got the most out of the experience. And that's what I want to prevent you from having, right? I want you to have a really great experience with whatever service provider you decide to engage, whether it is in a long-term engagement or in a really intensive short-term um, focus, right? So keep that in mind when you are investing in VIP days and as you're preparing for them yourself. If you have checked off all of these, um, you know, kind of pitfalls and areas to be concerned, uh, to be aware of, and you know that you're ready for a VIP day and you're, you know that you're ready to build more systems in your business and you know that you're ready to have the best tech and really leverage your business and preparing it to scale really, really fast, then you might be a good fit for my VIP systems intensives, right? Apply for a systems assessment call with me and we'll talk about how fast we can add rocket fuel to your business and get you ready for scale ultra fast. All right. So the link is in my bio and until next time, bye guys.